Hi there, everyone. This is DocSide2K7, aka Science Guy Sister. And, uh, yeah, 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 I got the Saints Row third, the third remastered. Well, I got a bit, well, other Saints Row games. But I feel like, but I feel like for this video, it should be, uh, ooh, time, ooh, time to go kill. I feel like I should make, I should make this. So, as you may know, Saints Row 2022, or as people like to call it, Saints, Saints Row Reboot, it's been a bit of a dumpster fire, to say the least. Oh, no. Ooh, no, 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 no. We ain't going out like this. So, as you may know, so as you may know, see. So, as you may know, you know, Saints Row, Saints Row has been, um, you know, been a bit of a, a dumpster fire, and you know, the review said it best. After all, the reviews is not really, really good for the game, but it is what it is. But as you may go, hell yeah! This shoot's mine! And I get to kill more people! Yay! So, no surprise, the everyone is voicing their displeasure on this game. I mean, I would, I mean, I would too, and I don't even know. I would too. Well, hope you like pineapple! Oh, that was so beautiful. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we should stop right now. But, so, as you may know, the community manager, so, basically, no surprise, um, a community manager for Saints, for Saints Row, the game, had decided to come out and try to go after, you know, the people who are against, who are against it, who are against Saints Row, uh, Re Saints Row Reboot. To the point where is where they decided to say something that it got her to lock her account. Her na the username is Deadly Steph. She is the community manager of Saints Row, of Saints Row. Well, Saints Row and Verlissen. And to no one's surprise, she decided to come out of the fucking woodwork and decided to attack critics of the of Saints Row. To the point where she decided to say. Ooh, got her. To the point where uh, she decided to call the f critics, you know, terrorists. Now, l let's get one thing perfectly clear: calling some, calling your calling your critics terrorists of, is uh, is a terrible way to to uh, try to try to squash criticism. That's just me, and my own. That's just well, me, and my honest opinion. But the funny thing about it is, is that she decided to, uh, after she said that crap, she decided to lock all, all the, um, decided to lock, lock out her Twitter account. Yes, because the problem with, because it seems like the kind of a, of the norm, after all, it's like, you can't take crit, can't take criticism, if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Most people don't get that. Oh, shit. Okay. But this is just, but right here, this is just another perfect example why I feel, in my heart and hearts, that people nowadays in the entertainment industry just don't know how to take, just don't know how to, like, you know, take valid criticism. Valid criticism of the game. Listen, you made a shit, listen, Deadly Steph and the devs and Devs of Saints Row 2022 and fanboys of Saints Row 2022. The game sucks. If people are, and I will say this to people who are actually enjoying this, more power to you. But I have no reason on getting this game. Nope, not a juice. But the fact, but to cross all criticism, calling people who who criticize your game as terrorists. You're not make, you're not doing yourself any kind of favor from what so fucking ever. Listen, the game this not everyone's gonna buy the game. And it's like you can't force people to just like this game for to like a, like the game you made. Cause let's be fucking real. If they don't like it, they don't have to buy it. And you can't force people to like it and call, by calling them names or trying to guilt trip them. You know what? The, and another thing, I think people really need to. I think people in the entertainment and in Hollywood need to stop guilt tripping motherfuckers into accepting their bullshit product. 
or calling them names or in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, in the next video I'm going to make, it's going to be focusing on uh, on an actor who made a movie called The Bros and decided to attack straight people for not watching a, a move, watching the movie. It is. I mean, I don't know why this is why they did this, but it's like that's just. But all this is just proving my point that motherfuckers nowadays in the entertainment industry can't accept valid criticism. It is what. It is what it is, but you know, I just want to make this video on on this whole situation. But man, man, I mean, the game is already a, a massive flop, and no amount of patching, no amount of patching or DLCs, or DLC they're gonna be dropping. And it's gonna save. It's gonna change that. But I would like to know what you think on the whole situation. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Dark Side of 2K7, aka Sky Skyser, signing off. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot, and I will see you in the next one. Catch you later, peace. Oh, yeah, and also, um, over the weekend, Saints Row, Saints Row 2022 was, was on, was on the, just came out of a discount, 25% off. <laughs> Ruby Cop. You wouldn't, wouldn't catch me get, uh, getting that game. No siree. No siree. Oh. No. Oh. No siree. No siree. Fire in the hole! Later, haters!